Ladies and gentlemen, it's been quite a journey that we've been making in this series. We've been discussing the reasons as to why people fail to fulfill their God-given purpose. We've looked at several of those, and today is the ultimate deal. We're going to close this, and uh, one of the reasons I'm going to share with you is simple. You already know it. it. In fact, this reason pervades nearly many things. It stops many people in their tracks from not just pursuing their purpose, but from pursuing very many other things in life. We're going to discuss it in length, but I'm going to start by giving you a small recap of what we've been discussing even as we come to a close of this episode. Why do people, even when they want, why do they fail to fulfill their purpose in life? Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Yeah, so let's uh, wind up this uh, series. We've been discussing why people fail to fulfill their God-given purpose in life. And we've said that uh, for the most part, people want to. You will not find a human being who doesn't want to fulfill their purpose. They want to. At their hearts of hearts, at their authentic selves, People want to live their purpose. People want to fulfill their God-given purpose. But they invariably find themselves in a situation where they can't or they won't. Or they, you know, it's just that they, they are not able to do it. They fail to do it. Why? What are some of the reasons as to why that is so? Number one, ignorance. If you don't know anything, you will not do anything. It goes without saying. If you don't know you're supposed to inherit, for example, six million dollars have been left behind by some benefactor who wrote that were upon their death in their will you're supposed to get that six million dollars. If you don't know, you will not get it. As long as there's ignorance, there is no inheritance. That's the first thing. The second thing is the culture of the day. If the culture of the day does not elevate purpose, then Maybe the culture of the day is from the family level and the community level and the whole society and the whole country, the whole region, the whole world. As long as the status quo of the day doesn't elevate purpose, you will fail to fulfill your God-given purpose because I can, I, can, I can tell you, even if you wanted, you need support from the community and sometimes the community just pulls these things of purpose down. But anyway, you can review the previous episodes to find out these reasons in depth. Number three, the hassles and the bustles of life. You've got to put food on the table, pay bills, clothes on your back, take kids to school and your wife on a vacation and so on. These things are hard pressing on you so much so that they are a priority and they are urgent and they are also important. And therefore, you would rather do these things than pursue purpose, which in the equation, it is not priority. Huh? It is not urgent, and maybe it's not even important. You feel it's not even important, and so you fail to pursue your purpose because, number one, these things are happening. Number two, it's not going to pay you immediately, and so on. And yet you need money today. You need money at the end of the month. Number four, why we fail to pursue a God-given purpose is we lack clarity in terms of vision, personal vision. You find a manager have 
pursuing the vision of the organization but at the individual level they don't have vision and then when they are fired or when they are retrenched or whatever the company closes or whatever it is the company relocates they are left alone no vision no nothing no job and therefore if you had vision at a personal level that vision is going to connect you to your god given purpose number 5 reasons to why people fail to fulfill their god-given vision is because their vision or their purpose or their idea is early on in other words it's not making sense to the world at this moment today it's not making sense so people want to do purpose because it's making sense and now that it's not making sense yet they fail to pursue it they leave it alone only to regret later have you ever seen those guys who say oh he stole my idea oh i had that idea and so on why didn't you pursue it it wasn't making sense at that moment in time so you dropped it let me tell you something a shortcut today if you don't take anything from this episode today get this that idea that you have and i'm sure 100% that you have an idea i challenge you pursue it even if it's not making any sense to you today because ideas have a maturation time have a process to take and they have a due date only to the degree that you consistently pursue them so pursue it the number 6 reason as to why people don't fulfill their god given vision and purpose is because they lack passion passion for something greater than themselves something that is not selfish something that is selfless something that contributes fulfills impacts this generations and therefore as long as they are lacking that kind of a passion that passion is normally connected to the purpose that they are supposed to pursue in the vicinity of your passion you will find your purpose so if you don't have that kind of passion you will fail to fulfill your god given vision and purpose the seventh reason as to why people fail to fulfill their god given purpose is greed we talked about this yesterday at length if you are only thinking of how you're going to make money and only thinking about how you're going to enrich yourself you see purpose is totally opposite of that purpose is about transformation impact it's about contribution it's about giving it's about changing other people impacting other people positively and as long as you are not doing that you're thinking about yourself you're thinking about the opposite you will fail to fulfill your god given purpose today at the end of the day when all is said and done we've got to finish this probably there are many other reasons as to why you will fail to fulfill your god given vision and purpose but uh, the last one that i wanted to discuss today is the idea of fear uh-huh fear whether it's fear of failure fear of people whatever it is any form of fear has the potential and the power to emasculate you and to paralyze you so that you don't move so that you don't dare so that you don't step out so that you remain in the status quo you remain in the known in the tested in the proven you only see what you want to see what people want you to see you don't want to do anything outside of the norm nobody in this family has ever gone to the university we are we can't if we if people see that we're going to the university they will think we are rich and they will they will bewitch us you're afraid of people and so you stay in your condition we can't own this we can't own that the same thing with purpose people are afraid that they're going to fail miserably and when they fail miserably people will say see the weirdos failed we told them we knew we knew they were going to fail and so you feel embarrassed you feel like you don't belong to society and so on so you are afraid you have no idea what your purpose is going to do because it is not in the traditional way of how things are done it's not tried it's not proven it's not tested and so what you you would rather not do it you would rather not pursue it because you're afraid and that fear indeed paralyzes you and it becomes a what a self-fulfilling prophecy 
You fail to pursue your purpose because you are afraid you will fail. And when you are afraid you fail, you fail. At the end of the day, it is a big, big animal, that thing called fear. That's made very many people fail to pursue their God-given vision. The greatest friend of greed, which we discussed yesterday, is fear. These two are joined to the hip. They feed one with, one with another and you, you, you get greedy because maybe you're afraid. And uh, you get afraid because probably you're busy. So you easily go on a tangent to sashay that fear and to pamper it. You know, fear at times cheats on you that you cannot make it. It tells you that, you know, you are supposed to live in a predictable way. Huh? Something that is known, measured, tried and proven. That's why it's easy to go and get a job. And I'm not against jobs. For the most part, when we're looking for a job, we are afraid of pursuing our purpose. I kid you not. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know we, we, we're going to go there. Yes, 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 yes. For the most part, those of us who know what our purpose is, we are afraid. Or if we are not afraid, guess who else is afraid? Our loved ones, our fathers, our mothers, our brothers, our spouses, our friends. They are afraid. Why in the world are you doing that thing? Go and get a real job. Have you ever been told to go and get a real job? It is the spirit of fear communicating. Go and get a real job because a real job, quote unquote real job, has certainty. You are sure you're going to get paid at the end of the month. And then, of course, in others, you are sure that when you retire, see, fear talks about retirement. When you retire, when you're doing your purpose, there is no retirement. So when you retire, you're going to be paid your pension. But purpose, no one is going to pay you pension when you're doing purpose. <laughs> it's fear. It's basically the spirit of fear. And let me just uh, qualify this and say that there is nothing wrong with jobs. Absolutely nothing wrong with jobs. In fact, jobs have saved very many people. It is through jobs of our parents that some of us have been schooled. I mean, even as I speak today, very many people are having bills paid, hospital bills paid, school fees being paid because they have jobs. So I am not in any way saying jobs are bad. I'm just saying sometimes if you are to pursue purpose, the spirit of fear will force you to take a job than to pursue your purpose. It's one of the reasons as to why you fail to pursue your purpose. So we come to the close of this episode. We've been having a lot of fun and I thought that would uh, help some people in terms of uh, discovering and uh, doing an introspection in their lives and finding out exactly what is going on and uh, if they want to pursue their purpose and find out where they really are. And so starting tomorrow, we're going to talk about ideas leveraging ideas in your pursuit of purpose you wanna stay tuned to this one but until then bye bye thank you for listening to life signatures radio if you enjoyed today's show subscribe to life signatures radio on itunes stitcher or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com life signatures radio fresh clean and inspiring